In this demo I want to show you how to machine translate documents using the open source machine translation engine MOSES together with the tools MOSES for localization and the Okapi framework. I'm showing you this is an, an example of an open office document but this works for any uh, document format that is supported by the Okapi framework. So to start off I'm typing in a short uh, German sentence here that I want to translate. Ist ein kleines Haus, which means this is a small house in German. And to emphasize that it is a really small house, I am putting uh, the word kleines in bold. And then I'm saving the file into the demo folder under the name house. So let's open a shell here uh, in the demo folder. And we can see the house.odt file was saved here. So the first step is to extract the translatable text from this file. And to do this, I'm using uh, the TCAL tool that is included in the copy framework. Uh, you can also do this with the Rainbow um, graphical user interface. Uh, I'm using the XM option here on the house.odt file and I'm also specifying the source language as this wasn't um, specified in the source document. Uh, and this creates uh, an output file house.odt.de that I can have a look at. Uh, and you can see here that it contains the text I typed in along with some markup that indicates the formatting. But Moses cannot uh, translate text that includes uh, markup. So we have to remove this markup before the translation. For this, I'm using a tool remove markup that is included in Moses for localization. Uh, and I'm putting outputting this into a file called house.odt.nmk for no markup.de. And uh, this only contains a plain text now, uh, which I can then translate with Moses. To translate this to English, I'm using a sample model that is included in Moses. I'm using a phrase model. And this, I'm specifying the configuration here. And another option that I have to use uh, to be able to uh, reinsert the markup again later is the minus T option. Uh, and this provides information about the phrase alignment. And I'm putting this into the odt.nmk.en file. And the translation is uh, very quick because the model is very small. We can have a look at this. And um, you can see that this is the translation data text. This is a small house. And the numbers here indicate the phrase alignment. For example, this is zero and one here uh, indicate that this is, is the translation of das ist uh, in the German sentence. To reinsert the, the markup uh, into the translated text, uh, there is a reinsert tool available in uh, Moses for localization. Uh, it requires the original text with the markup as input, as well as the just translated text. And we output this. into the file house.odt.en and I can have a look at the result now uh, and you can see this is a translated text with the reinserted markup. Uh, as a final step to create the open office file we again call tical with the lm option and specify the original document as a, as a template uh, we also have to specify the to TRG to target option to be able to override the text and then we indicate 
where the translation is coming from. And this now created a, a new file house.out.odt and uh, we can have a look at this file uh, in OpenOffice and you can see here that uh, the translated text was inserted in a new file again uh, along with the correct formatting. Uh, there are other issues of course involved like uh, upper and lower casing and the dealing with punctuation and you can for find out more information about Moses for localization on uh, the project website which is under uh, code.google.com slash p slash m4loc.